Wingy obviously we're at a place you know quite quite well and obviously we won 3-0 here today at Banbury. What did you make of today's game? Yeah really good. Um, I think the first week in pre-season before the Blues game we um, you know, were just coming in and having a look at what we got in the building. Um, pretty much did similar what, what we've done before this week. Um, you know, we changed system, we've changed shape, uh, strategy going forward in terms of how you want to go about things. Um, and we've seen that today, thought it worked really well. There's still still a few grey areas that, that we need to, to iron out, but I thought outstanding first half, thought we were really, really good. Um, obviously we went 2-0 up first half, done you know some really good goals. Uh, second half got a little bit a little bit scrappy, but obviously we've changes and substitutions. Um, you know, so still a little bit to work on, but you know, a lot more pleased. And you know, I thought we did hope it was competitive last week. Um, you know, but I think with, with two tough weeks now under our belt, you know, really, really pleased at where we're at. And I think one of the players that kind of shone today, I thought, throughout the 90 minutes was Morgan Owen. What do you make of his performance today? Yeah, you know, obviously we're a little bit stretched in terms of numbers, so one or two had to play. Player 490, and Morgan did that. You know, even in the last last minute, just shows how fit fit uh, the laddies and the young ones are. And, well, the whole team are pretty much, um, you know, going out there, you know, working really hard to the 90th minute. Same as like Max and Brogan, Kian Riley, paid a lot of minutes, you know, so really, really pleased with the young ones and, you know, everybody really. And obviously, you just touched on the young ones there, and I think Kian Riley as well, Finn Howe, and uh, Tyler Brock obviously got the goal. Um, I think they quite had had an accomplished performance today. What did you make of the Elite Academy's involvement? Yeah, outstanding, you know, I mean, these games, you know, great learning curves from, you know, Max Martin as well in the first half. Um, you know, the lads have, you know, over 45, 70 minutes or, or whatever today. Uh, they've been really, really good within the group in the first two weeks since I've been here. Um, you know, they work their socks off, they're robust as well for young players. Uh, and the Elite, Elite Academy, you know, has been fantastic. Hopefully we see that the fruition in the next few, year, few years of it. But um, yeah, outstanding uh, efforts at the minute. And then obviously we go into quite a busy week this week, obviously Nuneaton on Tuesday, Villa 21s on the Wednesday and then away at Alfreton on the Saturday. What's sort of the plan in training going ahead? It's been two tough weeks in terms of, um, you know, a lot of running and stuff, um, you know, a lot, of, a lot of meetings, a lot of work on the training ground, you know, it'll start to sort of taper down now because we're only, what, less than three weeks away now. Um, you know, obviously we've got two games midweek, you know, so we'll try and spread it out so we'll probably get 60 minutes in, in you know, 90 minutes over the two days. Um, you know, so it's going to be a lot more, a lot more work and obviously new system we've played today. We still need to do a lot of work on that, um, you know, but we're looking forward to a big week ahead. And I think obviously playing these matches and easing into pre-season, um, some players will get injured and carry knocks. Obviously, I know Jack Stevens carrying a slight knock at the moment. Um, what sort of injury updates do you have for supporters at yeah, the moment? Yeah, it's obviously Jack, Connor, and Joe. Um, you know, I had, I had a few problems last week with them. Um, you know, obviously Jack's probably nearest out of the, out of the three of them to return. Um, you know, but you know that's what we, you know in terms of numbers. We need to get a few bodies in the door. We know that. Um, you know, we've got a lot of irons in the fire in the next next week or two. Hopefully, we can start getting a few few over the line in the next week, um, just to help this squad. You know, because we've got so much ability in the squad, we just need to add to that. Um, you know, if we do pick up these uh, little injuries. Wingy.